Um, but he's really unhappy about all of this, isn't he? And, and considering well, legal action now. If, if I'm honest, Claire, my immediate reaction to that idea was, I really hope he does because I would love to see that case, to see how it would play out. Let's be honest, he was forced. We all knew at the time, everyone writing about it, I'm sure everyone in Brussels knew at the time that Phil Hogan did not wake up that morning and think, do you know what, for the good of the European Commission and the good of the Irish government, uh, I better step away and resign. So he was forced to resign. So that's where his case would go. But it would be a fascinating case to see how he would argue it. And I think everybody accepts that it wasn't just about his attendance at Golfgate. It was around everything that happened in that period. Do you think he has a case? I doubt it. Um, Let's see if he takes it. But politicians, their advisers, those political jobs you serve at pleasure. Uh, that's my understanding. It's a fundamental principle, um, and uh, the pleasure ran out and it was over. You don't think he should have lost his job? I believe it's great loss to Ireland. I do believe there's a difference between the court of public opinion and the court of law, and I do believe that. F- that blind wall of fury that chased people out of their jobs, uh, you know, there's a lesson I to be learned. part of his problem, though, Derb, was that I think in this... I don't know about you, Ming, but sometimes when, when, when politicians go off to Brussels and abroad, I think Phil missed the public mood. I think he was way too slow to apologise and he got behind... I, I it, accept but for right some, that, for but some reason, For some reason, for some reason, he wants to focus on Golfgate. To me, it's about the 14-day quarantine that he did not stick by when he came into the country. And it was mentioned that he was missed missed by Ireland. He is not missed. I'm no fan of Mairead McGuinness, but I think she would do a better job as a commissioner from Ireland. From the, no, from, from the point of view on it, from the, that, yeah, well, that, I'm that entitled not, to that point of view when I was elected so uh, on, on many of those points of view. Role. But the idea that he is missed as a commissioner for Ireland, to me, is rubbish. And if he had ended up, as some people were pushing for at one yeah. stage, to become the agriculture commissioner again, the gains that the small farmers farmers got on convergence wouldn't have happened and he would have made life difficult right. for anyone who fought that. So for me, I'm delighted he's gone and he has proved not to be a loss. We don't miss him one jot. Kick a man while he's down. He's I, not down yet. I miss <laughs> Phil. <laughs> OK, there we have to leave it. Uh, we didn't even get to talk about the mask uh, mandate being lifted, but the, there you have it. Ming, uh, that's enough for now and that's it from us.